everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a book haul you guys said how much you missed my book videos in my last TBR videos first thing I want to start with the book that I've already read this is the last star by Rick Yancey um, this is the third and final book in the fifth wave trilogy I ended up giving this a three out of five stars which was so upsetting because if you didn't know the fifth wave was one of my favorite books this kind of just ties up the loose ends and to be honest with you I really just didn't love this book I think part of me was just hoping for a better ending um, some of the things that happened in it it just I think it really focuses too much on the romance whereas I really wanted to get to know like how this is gonna end how it happens and it he gives you that ending, but it's not what you want, or not at least what I wanted. Um, next, I'm going to do my two quick library books. So the first one is Eligible by Curtis Sittenfeld. Um, it looks like this. It is supposed to be a modern retelling of Pride and Prejudice, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I think this is going to be such a fun book to have on vacation. It is about this guy, and he comes back to his hometown after he went to like medical school and he was on a show that's equivalent to like The Bachelor and he basically um the main character like they're trying to get her to fall in love with him and she doesn't want to and it's the same thing as like a Mr. Darcy kind of you know it's it looks really really cute and I think I'm really gonna like it and then the other library book I have is Laura Moriarty's The Chaperone I've heard a lot about this book I actually got recommended this book by a couple people it's set in the jazz age I don't know New York City so it talks about there's this girl who's going to New York City to learn how to she goes to like a dance summer dance intensive and she brings along her chaperone and this kind of and it like being in New York City opens her eyes up to a couple things and she it's during a time obviously the jazz age is in the 20s so you know it was a very very conservative age and she kind of opens her eyes and view to a couple things so I think those are gonna be pretty interesting and then the final three are books that I have purchased so the first one is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss this is one of supposedly one of the best fantasy series of all time so I've been told um, I know a lot of people who really like it it's super thick so I'm gonna have a fun time reading this on vacation but um, it I'm not entirely sure I know it has some aspects to do with magic something to do with pubs and universities and fantasy so I think I'm really gonna like it I just started it I'm only 30 pages in so we'll see so this next book is by Julian Fellows it's called Volgravia I hope I'm saying that correctly um, and Julian Fellows is the sole writer of the Downton Abbey script so I'm so excited to read this because if you didn't know I loved Downton Abbey that was one of my favorite TV shows and so it just talks about um, wealth and social classes and social statuses social classes similar to Downton Abbey and I think I'm really gonna enjoy this and I don't know, I just, I, I love books like this. I love historical fiction like this. I love Downton Abbey. So the whole aristocrats along with like the downstairs workers is just fun. And then the final book is The Girls, a novel by Emma Klein. This one I think I'm most excited about because I don't read books like this too often, but I'm really excited to. So this is supposed to be kind of a spinoff of a Charles Manson Helter Skelter kind of thing. Um, if you don't know who Charles Manson is, he was a cult leader and serial killer um, in the late 60s. And so this is going to be, it's kind of like a retelling, but it's not anything that's supposed to be based on real events. It's really more of a fiction novel that's set at the same era. And one day she's in the park she sees these girls and she thinks they're the most beautiful girl she's ever seen in her life so she wants to be like them so she ends up going with them and she like gets into this cult and I don't something about cults really just intrigues me like I don't want to be in one obviously but I just think the idea of a cult mentality that you follow someone so deeply that you never question anything that they're doing or just the, the just how someone is able to speak so influentially that leads people to do whatever they say um so I think that's gonna be really interesting I heard it's really good and I really want to get on to the like new releases because I haven't really read too many new releases this year so I'm excited to try this out. I think the cover is super cool too. It's like a papery feeling book and it's fairly short so I think I should just fly right through. So that was my quick book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give that big thumbs up and I will see you back here later.